Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. Oh boy, oh boy, soon as it hit the water, doink. Oh, come on, be a big mutton snapper. Be a big mutton snapper. Oh, I feel like a big mutton snapper. Oh. Welcome to Sportsman's Adventures from the Bahamas. It's tackle testing time and where better than the remote island chain called the Berries. There are hundreds of very fishy square miles of shallow water with small channels that crisscross the flats and banks. These are perfect highways for the many species of snapper and grouper that regularly patrol these underwater ways. Having a good chart plotter on board really helps you to figure out the areas you're going to explore and fish. Experience has taught us to rely on Hummingbird's chart plotter for its top-notch performance. Whoa! So today, Rick will be testing some new lures by Rapala. They're called Trigger X. For Rick, this will be a homecoming to do some homework. Uh oh, I got a stinking bite. Oh, it's going to be a big, beautiful yellow tail. It's gonna be a big, beautiful yellow tail. And I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> look at that yellow tail on an artificial Trigger X. Now, let me tell you what we're doing here. One of my favorite places to fish in all of the world is certainly the Bahamas. And when you come over here in the winter, it could be over in the US right now, freezing, freezing cold. There's a 20 degree difference when we landed today. And I gotta tell you, this is what it's all about. We come here because in the winter time, the snappers, yellowtail snappers, mutton snappers, and lane snappers, all pull up on the edges of all the reefs. And the reason why they do it is because this is where all the bait is. And it's not uncommon to catch a lot of big snappers uh, because of all the bait. Now, finding bait often can be really a hard thing to do here in the Bahamas. So what do we do? We bring jig heads like this hookup and the Trigger X. Scented plastic baits are the way of the future when you like to travel, guys. So I'm gonna tell you, there's only one thing that can make this situation better. 350 degrees of olive oil, a fillet knife, and maybe, maybe just a little black beans and rice. That's what makes this better. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I wonder what this could be. Whoa. Putting the pressure on that suffix. This is the cool part for us is we like fish taking these same bonefish rods. It's a Biscayne rod, Millie Baru series. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 10 pound suffix mono and the reason why i use mono certainly you could use braid guys but the mono oh there he is he's mr mutton snapper we're going for the snapper trifecta the snapper slam look at him he's sitting up here on all these rocks the key thing that I look for whenever I'm fishing, whether I'm in Biscayne Bay, down in the Keys, fishing on these channels, what I really look for is the spots, the sand holes that have something black inside them. Like maybe it could be just a, it could be a dark patch of grass, it could be some, uh, uh, a rock. It doesn't necessarily have to be structure driven. These guys, are up here because of the bait. Look at how beautiful that red tail is, the dot on the, the middle, um, and then certainly look at that eye with the blue streaks down his face. And it's just another one of the species of snappers that we catch here. 
came back. Oh boy, this is a good fish. This is a good one. I thought it was a good one. Oh, not so good. Look at this yellowfin grouper. Look at the difference in his color in the last ones I caught. You got orange and yellow up underneath there. That's pretty. Oh, oh. that's a good fish here. A grouper, I think. Trying to get me in the mess. Oh, God. Oh, I see him down there. I see him down there trying to get me in the bushes. Oh. Yeah, grouper, rock kind grouper. Boy, they know where the house is, that's for sure. Boy, that's the thing you gotta appreciate about the Bahamas, it's a variety. Rock kind groupers, yellowfin groupers, black groupers. Look how pretty he is. Yes, sir, I like catching groupers. And all of that, on the Trigger X Go Shrimp. Look how realistic that looks. If you, next time you go to the bait and tackle store and you buy a dozen shrimp, I want you to look and see how many are that color. There'll be a lot that color. They're either pink or they're gray. They call this the gray ghost. Now the question is, do you want to take him back to Rocky or do we want to put him in the live well? Oh no, the cameraman, there it is, Rocky. Cameraman's on letting go what would be perfect in the salad. You know, the history of the Bahamas is really part of my heritage, but more importantly, you need to understand that there's a variety of islands here in the Berry Islands. And one of my favorite islands is Big Whale Key. And there was a book about Whale Key and a woman named the Queen of Whale Key. Her name was Marion Josephine Carsdale and she went by Joe Carsdale. What was neat about her is she loved this race from Miami to Nassau in speedboats and held the world record in the 1920s. But more importantly, she discovered Whale Key and bought it from the Bahamian government in the 1930s. The cool part about this place is that she had a museum here, she built this great house that you see over my shoulder, had some really beautiful parties with lots of people. At one time had 1,200 people come from Nassau, brought 55 gallon barrels of wine and held these real elaborate parties for the rich and the famous. The thing that I think impresses me the most about this island is it's got paved roads throughout the whole island. The island itself, they say, has up to 20-something miles worth of roads and paving. How did they do that in the 1920s? But the walls and the architecture that they have here, they have in the walls that line all the roads certainly have little indentations. Each one of those indentations had a coconut palm tree. And I can only imagine what it looked like driving up this beautiful road to this driveway of this great house. If you're ever in the Berry Islands, I highly recommend that you might want to stop by Big Whale Key, get the book first, and check out some of the history of the Berry Islands. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Catch the latest at Rapala.com. Williamson for the Pelagic Playground. BMC Hooks, Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. And by Hummingbird, simply, clearly, better. I got my first Yamaha in 1994 and I still use that outboard in the Bahamas today. This Yamaha 130 has over 2,000 hours on it and it sometimes sits for six months. I can always depend on it starting and performing like it did when it was new. Everybody knows Yamaha stakes their reputation on reliability, and for me, that Yamaha 130 is living proof. So if you're considering a Yamaha, I can tell you that reliability and performance is something that you can count on for a long time. Send that one apart. Got it. 
Oh my god. That's a nice fish. Wow. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to Think GPS is just for getting you to the water? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor, record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. You already know about the La Jolla Resort in Isla Morada, so let's talk about the La Jolla experience. With an on-site boat ramp, the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic is just minutes away. And when you return from fishing, there's barbecue pits to cook your catch while your family enjoys the pool or one of our new remodeled rooms. This historic resort, the La Jolla, is family owned and operated and has a friendly staff ready to make your La Jolla experience a really great one. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender boats, performance through innovation, Sportsman's Adventures has been using Trigger X for years. It's an awesome bait that works on just about every kind of fish, just about everywhere. The Rapala Lure Company developed Trigger X as a biodegradable, artificial soft bait, which is designed to attract specific game fish. Trigger X lures contain an attractant called Ultra Pheromones. Oh, I wonder what this could be that triggers the fish to feed. If it's at all possible, the Rapala team has now improved Trigger X. And since Rick is Rapala's number one saltwater guy, they sent us the new lures and said, test them. So we did, and they work. And here's something a little special. Rick said he never would, but now he's gonna give away a really good tip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no! Oh no! I think I saw a cooter down there chasing my mutton snapper! <clears throat> you know, the cool part about coming to the Bahamas, look at the size of that turtle! Look at him! Man, what a monster turtle! You used to never see that when I was a kid, but now they started protecting the turtles, but you know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he's in the Bahamas, and let me tell you something. It doesn't matter. You could take this same outfit, the same jig head, hook up jig head, with a Trigger X, and you can go fish all the channels in the Keys. Now here's the key. I'm gonna break the code for you. I swore I'd never ever tell anybody, but I'm gonna tell you. The key is you gotta do it during the winter time when the tide starts going out. That's the best time. Certainly you can catch them when the tide's coming in, but I'm gonna tell you, when that tide's going out, what you have is miles and miles of very shallow water dumping into channels. And what that means is the big jacuzzi effect. And also what it means is mutton snappers and yellowtails in the wintertime. I think I'm gonna take this one home and eat him. Oh, darn it. Got my bag. Come on, eat it. Sometimes you just gotta tease them. <clears throat> you just gotta tease them. That was a teaser there. Oh. <clears throat> what do I got? What do I got? Oh. I don't know if this is the right species, but it's a nice big fish. Could be a barracuda. I don't know. I'm looking. The key for me though, 
I don't like fishing in one spot. We move, hit it, and move. Hit and move, hit and move, hit and move. Definitely, I don't think it's a barracuda. I think it's a big grouper. I think it's a big grouper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big grouper. Big grouper. Big grouper. Big grouper. Now remember, we're fishing 10 pound suffix with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And look what we're catching. We're catching them in four feet of water, six feet of water. You just gotta keep wiggling it. If you're not sure what to do, wiggle it some more. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> On a bonefish rod in the Bahamas. Trigger X and the hookup jig, the winning combination. 4-0 hook, this is the XL series. Big hook, got a lot of exposed. I like the black nickel. And I thank you so much for making this a great sportsman's adventures. Hey, hey, put more color in the live well. <laughs> you know, what's so neat about this is that you can do this <clears throat> anywhere. <sighs> and just cause we're in the Bahamas doesn't mean that we're not gonna catch the fish. Now this is back in the day when my grandfather was alive his favorite fish to catch was a market fish and it looks like a white grunt and here's one right here and the cool part about this is it really shows me that <clears throat> this fish will not bite anything that's not scent driven he just won't do it it's a basically it's a white grunt and that's how i know that the soft plastics this trigger x is really not only does it look good but it's scent driven and that's the bite when you get bites from grunts and trigger fish and yellowtail snappers those are fish porgies those are fish that generally uh, bite based on scent not on how it looks the key is you gotta fish slow winter time fishing you gotta fish slow now i'm letting this fish go my grandfather going to be rolling over in his grave. Sport Fish Restoration is a federally funded program that benefits fishermen by providing improved fishing and boating opportunities. Anglers help fund Sport Fish Restoration when they buy fishing tackle or boat fuel. Other programs funded by SFR are game fish research and stock enhancement. These funds also help maintain over 200 boat ramps and the deployment of 2,500 artificial reefs. Kids and women fishing clinics as well as a variety of educational publications benefit from these funds and these programs are free of charge. Now by placing a 10% excise tax on fuel and fishing tackle, these funds are raised and then redistributed to the states based on licensed anglers. Sports fish restoration pays 75% of a project while the state pays for 25%. To learn more about SFR, visit myfwc.com fishing. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 Imaging, only from Hummingbird. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. Mid range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. I couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a. Just. It was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like, it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it a game changer.
continuing the revolution. Faster, drier, even better built. Designed around Yamaha's latest technology outboards. Still built by the same craftsmen and anglers who launched the Bay Boat Revolution. Whether chasing world records, or time on the water with the family, or anything in between, there's a new Pathfinder model for you. Pathfinder, number one for a reason, still. I've lost a lot of big fish because the bait I was using got picked off the hook. Whether I'm fishing for snappers or groupers offshore, trout, tarpon, snook, or reds inshore, I have the confidence to know that Trigger X is going to work in all weather conditions and temperatures. The pheromones and the look of the baits really work. I've won FLW, IFA, and Flatsmaster Redfish Championships using Trigger X. So, you want to keep using other stuff? Be my guest. That's what I'm talking about! Trigger the bite with Trigger X. I want to say something when I see land. Something all the pirates after me can say when they see land. Arr. How about I see a land mass approaching on the horizon? Punchier, more gravitas. OK, well, how about land ho? I'm liking it. Always use the best line, suffix 832. Uh-oh. Now, a lot of times guys will ask me what colors do I like. And I gotta tell you, the key is that I just like to match the colors. If the water's clear, I wanna use something that's clear. Oh, God. This is the part that just makes you a nervous wreck. If it's kind of a dirty bottom, then you're gonna wanna use a, uh, a new penny color. Or if the water, the bottom is kind of a tannic color, you're gonna wanna use a new penny color as well. Look at the size of that mutton. Look at that beautiful mutton snapper. Nice. Wow, look at that boil right there. It must have been a turtle that came up. The place is alive, and you gotta just keep moving around. That's the key, is just move around. If you move around, you're constantly, constantly fishing new water. New water, look at how his fins have just turned more red as we pull him out of the water, because he was out there on that sand. Now, he's trying to camouflage himself against my yellow hummingbird shirt. <laughs> Let me take him off here and put him in the right place. And you know where that is? This is what they call a breast snapper. You gotta put him against your breast to get him off and hopefully he don't bite the other side. It flies out and see like a breast brim but look at that eyeball got that red eyeball my cameraman wants me to let him go he ain't going nowhere <laughs> he ain't going in there i'm giving him a one-way trip back to miami <laughs> Boy, oh boy, as soon as it hit the water, doink. Oh, come on, be a big mutton snapper. Be a big mutton snapper. Oh, I feel like a big mutton snapper. Oh. Man, this light tackle stuff. And mutton snappers. In the Bahamas, sun setting. Man. <laughs> All we need is a little rum and coke. Let's see. Oh, that's him. 
Oh, oh, oh. 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 That's him, the big mutton. You know, the great part about this Trigger X is that if you haven't tried plastics in the last few years, these scented plastics, I gotta say, you need to try it. Rappel has really done a good job of bringing this Trigger X and getting the right colors, the right packaging. And I'm gonna tell you, this is the result of it all. Red tails, beautiful dorsal fins. Man, what a fish. The homework is over and Trigger X has passed Rick's rigorous testing. The grades are in, and it's high marks for all Rapala's new improved Trigger X. Of course, there's no more picturesque or beautiful classroom than the flats off Chub K in the Bahamas. It's the site of some of Captain Rick's best childhood memories, and for us, it's another great sportsman's adventure. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at www.sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. <laughs> that oh, that's a snapper right there. Look how beautiful. So pretty. And everybody wondering why they call him a red snapper. Look at that beautiful fish. Okay. Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Costa Del Mar, see what's out there. Trigger X, trigger the bite. Ameritrail, custom trailer manufacturers. La Jolla Resort, a place for families and a place for fishermen. Maverick Boats, Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line.